fall protection is a big decision. Knowing exactly what type and fit is required for your job can be complicated. Wondering what all you should know about fall protection and fall protective equipment? Let's start with the basic elements. Harnesses. Safety harnesses ensure that your body stays attached to the connecting device. The style you choose can be dependent on the type of work being performed. Universal harnesses are everyday harnesses not specific to a job type. Construction harnesses are meant to be more durable and comfortable for those that must use them regularly. Welding harnesses are used when any hot work must be done at heights and offers more protection from high temperatures. High visibility harnesses eliminate the need to wear a high visibility vest underneath and are perfect for low light or other hard to see conditions. Climbing and tower harnesses have extra D rings to help secure as you climb at heights. Connecting devices. Connecting devices are used to provide the secure connection between the harness and the anchor point. Lanyards are made of webbing or cable and usually have shock absorbing functionality. These are available at set lengths, usually no more than six feet. These are usually less expensive and are easier to maintain and inspect. Self-retracting lifelines can be made of the same material, but retract into the unit housing to maintain a comfortable but secure fit. They are available in a wide variety of lengths and stop a fall by engaging an internal braking mechanism. SRLs never allow slack in the line, ensuring they can arrest the falls quicker than traditional lanyards. Anchor point. The anchor point secures the connecting device to the structure that will keep the worker from falling. The stronger, the better. OSHA requires the anchor point to either handle 5,000 pounds per employee or the employer must design a system with a safety factor of two along with the performing work under the supervision of a qualified person. The ideal anchor point is a steel beam, although wood can be used temporarily if engineer certified for strength. Pieces such as anchor bolts, beam clamps, eye bolts, and turnbuckles need to be evaluated for load-bearing capacity. Structures and items that should never be considered an anchor point is scaffolding, ladders, standard guardrails or railings, light fixtures, and roof stacks, since these cannot handle the structural load requirements. Working at heights can be done safely and securely with the right equipment. Being diligent about buying the right stuff, inspecting it often, and removing from service when needed will help ensure your team stays accident-free. For more safety and health-related information, including fall protection training, reach out to an enterprise agent today.